Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we are going to be doing part three of season one for Young Sheldon and I gotta say this show has been very charming and adorable and honestly I'm very surprised how much of a different tone we kind of have with this show compared to how the Big Bang Theory was. And that's not saying it's a bad thing because I really am enjoying it and I absolutely love this show. I think the characters are a lot of fun. I think George is amazing to watch, you know, Sheldon's dad, and Missy is probably one of my favorite just because she's funny, and, you know, it just, like, I, I think Mima actually comes out on top <laughs> because she's just crazy. Every time she's on, she does something spontaneous, and it's really crazy. But hope you guys enjoy this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show. Let's go ahead and continue Young Sheldon. That may be faster if we're talking about smoked brisket. Oh, yeah, that's a brisket, all right. My God. Curiously, the one cut of beef that Texans and Jews agree upon. Okay. This is really random. good, Mama. Really good. You're spitting the best brisket in Texas all over the damn table. Close your mouth when you eat. Or aim your face the other way. Connie, one of these days you gotta give me the recipe. You bet, for sure. One of these days. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't she don't wanna do it. Mean that much to you? Mary and I were dating about a month when she brought me home for dinner. I took one bite of this brisket and I knew I loved your daughter. Gee, thanks. Kinda like Sleeping Beauty except Dad kissed me. Piece of paper and a pencil, I'll write it down for you. Okay. It's happening. Uh-oh. I don't know. She's pretty shifty. Maybe, maybe that's not, maybe that's not the real recipe. I don't know. I might make it this weekend. Or you could try a vegetable. Vegetable. That's funny. Okay. Now this is for your eyes only. You're not to share it with anybody. I never. I, I would never. <laughs> You're Yo. a whole person. Wow. Not only what did she say? just say keep dreaming, she literally called him Tubby. You are a horrible person. <laughs> Even though she thought it was funny. <laughs> All right, that's enough about the brisket. You kids excited for the church picnic tomorrow? Not really. No, I don't who know. would be? Oh, come on. You all saw the flyer. The three F's. Food, fun, and fellowship. And I'm bringing a big slab of my brisket. Fifteen years in this family, and all the time I've been nothing but a good, supportive son-in-law. I always treated your daughter right. I gave you three beautiful grandchildren. Only thing I ever asked in return was that damn recipe. Yeah. You're right. Get another piece of paper. I'll write it down. Don't mess with me, Connie. Get the paper before I change my mind. <laughs> You're gonna do it to him again, aren't you? I kinda have to. Why? Me? She got a black heart. <laughs> she might. You always sign. She is my mother. And there it is. There's a problem. You should be siding with me. Over brisket. It's not just brisket. It's the way she's been treating me since day one. It's the principal. Kind of loser for booby prize. Booby prize. What was that? <laughs> Missy. Georgie, you mind your own business. Wow. What did I do? She ratted him out and he didn't even do What's it. What's going on? Mom and dad are fighting. What about? Brisket. If they get a divorce, who do you think you'll pick to live with? I don't think you pick. Oh, mom, of course. I want mom. Pick again. <sighs> no, Missy, he cannot. Why not? Enough. He doesn't want to be there because How come Meemaw's George there. Is not That's going. why. He's grounded for eavesdropping on me and your father. You grounded him for that? He didn't well, even do it. Behind his lesson. My God. Is this about the recipe? I bet he's mad because you always side with me, Mom. And how would you know that? Georgie told me. Are you and dad getting a divorce? Of course not. Well, if you do, I want to live with you. Sheldon, no one's getting a divorce. But thank you, honey. <laughs> you know this all goes away if you just give him your recipe for the brisket. I know. And? It's a pride thing. When people I come up with... I guess it's not going Listen. away. Okay, let's be honest here. I have a grandmother, too. And she has a mac and cheese recipe that came down from my grandfather before he died and she very rarely shares it with anybody and that's understandable it's a nostalgia thing it's a memorable thing it's kind of like an homage to my grandfather you know what i mean and i know it's mac and cheese but i'm telling you guys it, it was some pretty bomb mac and cheese like it was great 
<laughs> it still is. Even when my grandmother makes it, she makes it amazingly. But my point is, even though Bebo in this is being kind of shifty and being really shady, I understand why she doesn't want to share it. It's probably a family recipe. And I know George is I part of the family, dropping. technically, but still. Don't worry about it. I just don't see why I got grounded. What are you complaining about? You want to go church picnic anyway? I like complaining. I'm good at it. <laughs> mind if I have a sip of your beer? You mind if I dip your head in the compost heap? You could have just said no. <laughs> oh, God. Is he breaking into her house? Oh, my. We're, we're crossing boundaries now, but I'm here for it. Let's go. George is on a mission. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, you're gonna get give the poor here. man another heart attack. You're looking for a brisket recipe. All of a sudden, you got smart. Ooh. Found it? No, this is our French toast. Not looking for French toast. She does make it good, though. Did you know she puts vanilla extract in her whipped cream? I did not. Yeah. <laughs> looking for brisket. <laughs> it's probably not even in the recipe You're thing. Home. Be cool. I'm cool. You be cool. He didn't find it. There's no way. <laughs> George, oh my Real god, cool. dude. She knows. <laughs> she knows! It's not put the way that it was. That's OCD right there. You thought I wrote it down. I figured. She didn't write it down. When you have a recipe, she you just remember it. Do you help putting the kids down? No, thank you. I've been taking care of them all day. I think I could finish the job. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Don't do what? I don't know. I get both perspectives of this. Just so you know, Sheldon and Missy won the three-legged race because she told him a bee was chasing them, and you missed it. Donkey butts! <laughs> Missy? Don't <laughs> you bad? Well, that gave it away. Is that it? The Holy Grail. I feel like it's not. What changed your mind? You're not going to the picnic today? That hurt Mary and the twins. That's so? Absolutely. Look me in the eye and tell me this is the actual recipe. He, she just gonna lie. What you have in your hand is the exact step-by-step -step instructions on how to make my brisket. I have never written it down until tonight because I was afraid someone might steal it. But yeah. I'm entrusting this to you. And yep, I she's hope paying that back. someday... Connie, I don't know what to say. Don't call me Connie. Call me Mom. <laughs> now you know she's messing with him. Thanks, Mom. Now you know. Nope, she's messing with him. Because he tried to steal it. Dope. Yep! <laughs> oh, poor George. No later than mid-June. <laughs> Coffee from Cafe Du Monde. Oh, God. And seven ounces of something called Holy Ghost Root named Madame Laveau. Could you grind my root for me? I'm, 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 I'm gonna rub it on brisket. <laughs> Where did she come up with this, though? Tenderness, it my made God. my mother a little jealous. <laughs> Teen hours of cooking. My God. And basting. My goodness. He stayed awake for Until 17 hours? It was best, my darling. He looks so tired. Oh my god. Rest. This Cafe Du Monde coffee is very good. They make it with chicory. And what does it do to the brisket? Oh, I have no idea. Then why did you send George all the way to New Orleans? Well, they oh. don't sell this around here. 10 years and 14 hours later. Best brisket in Texas. He's going to be so upset. Donnie, you evil bitch. <laughs> it's yep, here it comes. Than regular coffee. <laughs> that wasn't a recipe. You looked me in the eye and you lied to me. Oh, Mom. You broke into my home and tried to steal it. Oh, George. You told her we went over there. <gasps> oh, George Jr. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, what if the kids want to see Oh, my God. You? Fine. Schedule it for when I'm not here. For when I'm dead. I can't believe this, though. It's a lot. About what? Mom is so upset about Dad and me, Ma. She might want a divorce. Oh my no God. one's getting divorced. How do you know? <gasps> Great, now I have to throw that out. Mother-in-laws are always held in low regard by the father. I think if we can figure out a way for Dad to <laughs> get me a TV brisket show, recipe, though. this all goes away. I don't see how we can accomplish that. Put that down, that's not a toy. Sure it is. Choo-choo. Oh, God. Choo-choo. Wide moon pie. Here oh. comes the choo-choo train. Choo -choo. Did she tell him the recipe? Mmm, and they promise not to tell anybody. 
How good you're <laughs> not gonna tell anybody. I That's that eidetic memory. A tablespoon of cumin. Good job, soggy pants. <laughs> Dad, could you please come into the living room? My brain did something impressive and I'd like to share it with you. Yeah, that doesn't sound like that cat that chair is having a problem. Same as you. I wanna see what his brain did. Please have a seat. Alright. <laughs> Well, Benza smoked paprika. Okay, okay, stop. No, 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 keep going. How do you know the recipe, Shelly? Mima told it to me on Valentine's Day 1982. You were out with Dad seeing Cannonball Run at the Dollar Theater. That's impossible. You weren't even two years old. Three tablespoons of dried mustard, one cup of Oh my god, he's not bluffing. Beer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lone Star beer? Go I didn't ahead. think about that. That's awesome. Give it to your father. I can write it down for you. That's okay. I don't want it. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, Connie, no. you've had every opportunity to give me that recipe, and you never did, because you've always treated me like an outsider. No, she has not. Oh, of course I have. See? She admits it. Yeah, I'm right, I do. Never thought you were good enough for my daughter. There you were, riding around on that dumb motorcycle, knocking her up. Why don't you kids go in the kitchen and fix yourself some ice cream? I'm not going anywhere. I wouldn't want her bringing home someone like that. But I've come a hell of a long way since then. Yeah. Okay, you're right. That means more to me than any recipe. Good. Come here. <laughs> Don't let the hug fool you. The minute she went home, he made me give him the recipe. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Ah, damn. Oh, no. Ah, damn. Quince. Sure. <laughs> Want some? Uh, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. Uh, no, he winked at me and did this little rotation with his hips. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got any plans this weekend? Get away! Get away! Oh, Literally. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm an itty bitty thing. What are we gonna do? Spend the weekend sitting around thinking? It's young boys who don't spend time with their daddies grow up to be oddballs. Honey, I hate to tell you, but that ball is already you know, pretty odd. I was gonna say, <laughs> we already have the evidence of that. Please. Bush! Sheldon, it's just a butterfly. How I'm trying to calculate ballistic coefficients. Well, that's fun, too. <laughs> Listen, I don't have to work this weekend. I was wondering if you want to do something together. Well, the filter on my air purifier needs to be changed. How about a trip to Sears? Yeah, I was thinking along the lines of something a little more rack. We went fishing. Mom, I... Dad's trying to make me go fishing! <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Fishing really that bad. Mom, Dad trying to convince me that fishing wasn't that bad! Shh, come on. Is it anything about fishing? Just think about it. And we'll do whatever you want. I'm trying to think what would have been actually open back then. There's a then launching of the was... space shuttle this weekend. Space shuttle? Don't they do those out of Florida? Yes, Cape Canaveral. That's pretty far Sheldon, away. That's, that's like a 12, 15 hour drive. Yeah. I understand. Never mind. You know what? Let's do it. It'll be fun. The three Cooper boys on a little adventure. Sound good? Are you sure? Because I Sounds don't even good. know if I would be, be making that drive. That's a long drive. Spoiler alert. I'm still here. Yeah, I figured. So, Sheldon, me, and Georgie are gonna take a little road trip this weekend. See the shuttle along. Looks like I don't get a vote in this. Oh, good, you're catching on. I wonder if we'll get to meet an astronaut. I remember when I was a teenager, I had the biggest crush on John Glenn. I would have given it up for him, no problem. Mom? Give him what? Wow. Up? Her allowance. You don't want to know. So Her allowance. Are gonna be gone? <laughs> Could we shoot guns at the gun range? Mm, you're too young to go to the gun range. Mimo took me. We pinky swore. What are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm saying. This is why Mima is like the wildest character ever. She's like, she's like a child at heart and I love it. Piddle. Got it. Now, number two is <laughs> a little trickier. Mary, relax. I can take care of my son. I'm just saying, if he's upset or nervous, he can get all clogged up. I won't let that happen. Okay, let's talk about food. No need to. He likes his meat cooked to at least 165 degrees, mm -hmm. except for chicken, which is 180. The different foods can't touch each other on the plate. Ketchup and mustard must come out of a packet. No bottle. He's got this. What about his issues with spaghetti? All right, I guess you've got this. <laughs> Missy, where's your brother? Who cares? <laughs> Is he already in the car? <clears throat> can't find Sheldon. What do you mean you can't find him? I mean, I don't know where he is. Well, it's got to be somewhere. Maybe you got that time machine to work. <laughs> what did I say? I he was already ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> Why does he need so much George, luggage for a weekend? Don't need one. A change of underwear? Got it. 
Georgie, you're gonna be gone for two days. I'll turn them inside out. Shotgun. No, no, <laughs> let your brother sit up front for a change. I actually prefer sitting in the back, it's safer. Oh, come on, sit up front with your daddy. He doesn't get to spend enough time with you. I call it shotgun. Georgie, call it. Head. Tails. Oh, nope, it's heads. Tails. Dang it. Show oh. you one, you <laughs> get right up front. Uh, this was a good idea. <laughs> that was a good idea. Yeah, it was, it'll be fine. We'll be all right. This was a good idea. Your mom is no fun. Excuse me. I'm fun. <laughs> Thank you for coloring my hair. Not a chance. Whatever you need to believe, mind Fuhrer. Wow. <laughs> that was that was a blow. Excuse me, I don't have to touch the cows. <laughs> what was I saying? Did you always want to be a football coach? Well, I always wanted to play. At least till I got hurt. Were you a good player? Eh, uh, not really. I was just bigger than the other kids. So you compensated for mediocrity by being large. In nicer terms, yeah. I <laughs> work for cattle as well. You might want to open a window. Oh boy. He's My such a boy. So you didn't give me freedom. You were never around. Is that That's freedom. So? <laughs> I guarantee I'm I made so. You think I was out dancing? I was out working two jobs so your daddy could lose all our money on that damn chain of photo mats. Wasn't daddy's fault that those little things blew over every time there was a storm. Is it roadkill if it's still twitching? Hmm, both alive and dead, just like Schrodinger's cat. Kid from Charlie Brown who plays the piano. No, no. Lucy's got a crush on him. <laughs> not that, that's not the same Schrodinger. <laughs> Otherwise, where are you gonna put on his tombstone? Not likely He's the got a point. A tombstone. It would in a pet cemetery because he has little white feet. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So in this thought experiment, there's no way of saying until you open the box, right? Oh come on! They would choose to believe he's alive. Yes. Oh thank goodness. <laughs> that looked like heads. Go brush your teeth. <laughs> I want to be more like Madonna. Are you oh, trying boy. to kill me? Because if you are, good job. What's wrong with Madonna? Why is she only like a virgin? Good night. <laughs> you actually believe that? No. But it would help my cause if you did. <laughs> I feel like she does feel bad about it, but she was also working, is what she said. So, I mean, it's not like she just abandoned them. You throw off a lot of heat. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Sheldon it's just unintentionally nice. roasting people. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, Maybe that might not end good. Just get some sleep. Oh, no. It's still going. It didn't pass. Well, at least he tried. I'll tell you a secret. I understood how lightning works. Didn't they teach you that in high school? They probably did. But I got hit in the head a lot playing football. Would you explain it to me? Well, when positive and negative charges grow large enough, a giant spark occurs in the cloud. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. What causes the thunder? Looks like rain. My brother, on the other hand, didn't <laughs> have to pretend. All right, just making sure you realize. Yeah, right, I mean, we know. We Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Where's he? What is he doing? No, he's going to leave him. Or not. Buddy, thought we had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Dang that could have looked bad like he was kidnapping him. I never did get to see a launch in person, but that was the best trip I ever had. I wish I had told my father while he was alive. A party of experts who will help restore the planet's culture. Oh, it's Star Trek. To a human form. The original Landrew programmed it with all his knowledge, but he couldn't give it his wisdom, his compassion, his understanding, his soul. I prefer the concrete, the graspable, the provable. You'd make a splendid computer. That's humorous because Spock is half human and half Vulcan, but he's ashamed of his human side. Because everything he says, he makes sound so <laughs> important. Is that really a good use of my time? Come on. I'm asking <laughs> nice. If he doesn't pass, he won't be able to play football. Your mother's mean to me. I still try to be helpful. <laughs> Does she break wind on your head? Because that's what Georgie does to oh me. Oh my God. I guess I like him better than you. <laughs> Do you understand solving graphing linear inequalities? I don't sure. even understand that. Great, explain it to me. And how do you do that? Uh, you know, carefully. It's he's technically me. not wrong. That's the weird part. He's he's not giving the book definition, but still. <laughs> <laughs> now you collect all the terms linear and y. Yeah, I'm a pretty smart okay. person, and I don't understand Try algebra it. that Close well. Your eyes. Can you see the slope of the line given by the coefficients of x and y? I see L McPherson. 
in a bikini. Oh, it just fell off. Dad. I'll make it 40. Keep going. Maybe the problem is you're not a good teacher. Unlikely. Regardless, I am your only hope. No, what are you, you are a you bad teacher, because remember, you taught I Howard. I see quadrant one is red. <laughs> quadrant two is soft and plush. Quadrant three smells like lavender. And quadrant four is overlaid with a Fibonacci spiral. That's really weird. <laughs> and when you divide... <laughs> Ms. Ingram? Here we go. Yeah, Sheldon. I'm done. I enjoyed it very much. I'll take another if you have one. No, I don't have another one. Just read ahead in the textbook. Oh, boy. How did you even do it that fast? Like, that was three seconds. Yeah, it's okay, baby. <laughs> I don't understand what went wrong. Is there any chance you drank alcohol when you were pregnant with Georgie? No. Well, don't be so high and mighty. I drank when I was pregnant with you. You turned out fine. I'm going to ask Jesus to help you get a good grade on that oh, test. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Chad, and I wonder if maybe I did have a few too many whiskey sours when you were in my belly. <laughs> say A for effort, but that's enough. Sheldon's not even the teacher. What? How bad is it? You got a B. Oh, he did good. I don't believe it. Me neither. <laughs> Those are not he full cheated. setups. Okay. He had the answers written on the bottom of his shoe. He wouldn't what? do that. When you cheat in school, you only cheat yourself. So what I saw, Sheldon. Oh, boy. I'm holding the evidence. Let me see that. <laughs> I don't see nothing. If you open your mouth, you're gonna make them sad. Somehow, he's not wrong about that one, actually. Had me. Nemo? Uh oh. Uh oh. I assume you've read the Surgeon General's report on the dangers of smoking. I'm gonna wait till they turn it into a movie. <laughs> Is that your new train? Yes, it's my reward for helping Georgie pass the math test. You don't seem too happy about it. I don't feel like I earned it. Why not? Can you keep a secret? Well, at my age, the question is, can I remember one? Try me. Georgie cheated on the test. Oh. And nothing bad happened. He gets to stay on the football team. Mom and Dad are proud of him. I even got a train for helping. So, you're feeling guilty? Very much so. And your brother's one of them. He'll get caught eventually. That's how Captain Crook is on Star Trek. Well, there you go. And he's like the main guy on that show. No, Mr. Spock is the main guy. I stand correct. Kobayashi Maru. Sounds like something you eat at Benny Hanna's. <laughs> Ever been to one of those? They make you sit with strangers. It's crazy. Do you think a Spock could become a Kirk? Well, in my experience, most people stay the miserable bastards they are their whole entire life. But I have seen some folks change. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Don't do it. Wow. <laughs> I guess the most important part was not stepping on anything wet before the test and not getting an A. Why wouldn't you want an A? Because you don't want to make it I obvious. I would raise suspicion. Who'd believe I got an A? When you're telling a lie, it's important to throw in some details. Like when I wanted to spend the night at Ricky's house and mom asked me if his mom and dad were going to be home, there weren't any turkey legs, you dope. His parents were in Branson. That's incredible. <laughs> I totally believed you. He has experienced a testicular hernia. And needs to rest for the next six to eight weeks. Who the heck? Sincerely, Mary Nobody's Cooper. gonna believe that. He's a child. Testicular hernia? That's called details. All right. Guess I'll see you in six to eight weeks. Oh my God! He conned his way out of a couple months. <laughs> Without getting the card stamped. You didn't check out those books. I know. Before We've you made a monster. Me too harshly, I always brought them back on time. Oh, this? I was just digging for money in Meemaw's backyard. There's money there. Wow. Oh, yes, I already found 75 cents. Who do you think left it? I already guess I'd say pirates with holes in their pockets. <laughs> hey, we're gonna learn about... We made a monster. Oh. Yeah, have a good one, George. Hey, how's your son doing? <laughs> it always catches up to you. Happened to me while I was in the army. Swear I could hear some pop down there. Oh, Sheldon no. Oh. This note? I didn't write it, and I think I know if my son had a hernia. Sheldon Ford's letter, he had a PE. Looks like it. <laughs> and Mima knows about it, though. Koshimaki Magoo. I don't remember. Wait a minute, I'm said. gonna get this. Three weeks to live. Please come wow. visit me here in Medford, Texas. He's horrible. Sincerely, Sheldon Cooper. P.S. My Mima makes excellent brisket. Sheldon, would you like to explain this note? Well. I was trying to be more like Georgie. That's a dumb idea. We don't want Georgie <laughs> to be like Georgie. <laughs> Starting in the library, where I had to reshelve hundreds of books. To be honest, that one was a hoot. 
the amends got worse <laughs> when Coach Wilkins made me climb the rope. And finally, yeah, that was sad. I had to apologize to my Mima, who was an unfortunate victim of my sister's treasure hunt. Right? Oh my god! Alright, so that was part three of season one for Young Sheldon, and I gotta say, three pretty good episodes. That brisket would have me, I'm not gonna lie. Mima just messing with George is the best thing ever, but it's also not good at the same time because you know I, i'm glad they had a resolution where they're you know they're more family oriented now but it was still funny to kind of just watch her mess with him especially since he tried to break in and really steal her recipe but hope you guys enjoyed that reaction if you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to young sheldon like i said at the beginning of this video go ahead and check for the link down in the description okay thank you guys so much for joining me and i'll see you all next time remember everybody stay totally terrific bye